Michelle. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, inspired by my travels to the Middle East and my love for the flavors in Xinjiang in Western China, I'm going to teach you how to make an Asian interpretation of a Sunday roast. We start with a pre-washed leg of lamb. I've had this deboned. I've made my own Xinjiang spice. It's a mixture of Sichuan peppers, cumin, I've added some garlic powder, some ginger powder, salt, pepper, um, chili flakes, so you get this wonderfully fragrant like aroma from the spice alone. I've combined it with some Greek yogurt to form a sort of paste, and you basically rub it onto the lamb like such. One of the a good tip before you actually rub it in, and it's a step that I've forgotten, is to actually put coals in the meat first so that you can get the flavors of the marinade through. Now that we have it prepped uh, and marinated, we're gonna sear it. Heat up some olive oil. So you wanna do is sear skin side down. Skin side first. There you go. Whoa. Right in the pan. Ah, there you go. Beautiful. Okay, what we're gonna wanna do, deglaze the pan. You wanna take off all this brown bits at the bottom of your pan because this is where the delicious flavor is. And what we're gonna use do with this is make a gravy at the same time. Pour this liquid into the bottom of the roasting pan. And now we just well, cover up this little baby, just to retain the moisture. And there you have it. The lamb's ready to go straight into the oven. For about two, two and a half hours, we can just leave it there at 180 degrees. What we're gonna do is prep the rice. So I have some dried apricots right here. I'm gonna just chop that up into small pieces. And then you wanna do something similar with the cranberries. Pistachios. Alrighty. Butter, some olive oil, put some of the saffron in. And once the butter's heated, I'm gonna put some of the dried fruit in. The apricots, the cranberries, put some raisins in here too. Mustn't forget the pistachio. Mix that up. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now that it's sort of heated up, I'm gonna add in the rice and I'm just gonna coat it. So I'm making it somewhat like a risotto or a rice pilaf. I'm gonna do a coat and go the heat. So you'll see a slight sheen on the rice. So that's about done. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in a rice cooker. Put that some water in there. Voila! Your Sunday roast meal is done, or almost. All we need to do now is wait, rest the meat, and eat. There you go. Your Sunday roast Asian style, with a little bit of flavors from Xinjiang and the Middle East. Hope you enjoy it.